Okay, the other tricky formula in this chapter is an 8.6. It's the mortgage payment formula. An important thing to remember is the payment is on the left side of the equation and that P on the right side is the amount that you finance. Okay, so uh, one thing to kind of keep in mind here is that the whole bottom half of this formula goes in parentheses and this exponent also goes in parentheses. And sometimes it helps to just write it down that way when you set it up. All right. Also remember that the P is the amount you finance, not the total purchase price of the house. Sometimes it'll give you a total purchase price with a down payment. So make sure that that P is the amount you're financing. All right. So let's work through a problem. You finance $70,000 at 5% for 30 years. What is the monthly payment? All right, so 70000 is our amount financed. 5% is the rate, making monthly payments. All right, and then on the bottom, got that rate of 5% over 12. And that exponent is a negative 12 times 30. All right. Now it helps if you go ahead and write it down with all those parentheses. That way when you put them into your calculator, it's a little bit easier. Okay. So, let me pull out my calculator here. Get the camera to focus. So, 70,000 and then open parentheses 0 0.05 divided by 12. Okay, so that's the top. Now, division symbol and we're going to open parentheses for the bottom. 1 minus, open a second set of parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12. Okay, close those parentheses. Exponent symbol. Again, that exponent symbol is right above the division symbol on your calculator, right there. Okay, and then we do the negative sign, not the minus, negative. 12 times 30, and then close that second set of parentheses. So that gives us a mortgage payment of 375 and about 78 cents. Okay, so go through those and practice until you can get them. You can get the same answers I did, and that'll help you get more comfortable with inputting these things into your calculator. If you have questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.